Good morning. So today, let's go to <clears throat> Colossians 127. And it says, Christ lives in you. Christ lives in us. That's the secret. Christ lives in us. You need power? I mean, Christ rose people up from the dead. He rose himself up from the dead. He was able to sustain beatings, nailing to a cross. He went down, whooped the devil, came back, walked amongst the living, and then went to heaven. He was able to forgive the wickedest people, the most backstabbing haters. Um, he healed those that were sick, lame, blind, deaf, mute. He was able to discern between spirits. He was able to put people in their place respectfully. He was able to overcome fear, death, and every type of temptation. And that power lives in us. But we can't remember it. We don't, we don't, we walk around here acting like we're victims or we're weak. Yes, humans, flesh, it's weak. But Christ lives in us. So when we decide to remember that greater is he who lives in me than he who is in this world, we don't have to be victims. We can speak that word with confidence. We can say, by his stripes, I am healed and mean it. We can say, you know, vengeance is not mine. It is the Lord's. I don't have to take vengeance on you. I can just love you because I know who lives in me. And he will take care of your mess. I know that hurt people hurt people. So I don't have to go about trying to meet you in your evilness. And meet toe to toe and an eye for an eye. No. That's why Jesus said, if your enemy needs a coat, give him two. If somebody asks you to go a mile, go two miles. Because I live in you. I got you. I'm the power that's going to strengthen you. I'm the power that's going to get you where you need to go. And you have to excuse my lighting today. I'm trying to. I'm not really good at this. But what I am, what God has made me good at is letting you know. Dude, I struggle all the time with all kinds of stuff. I struggle with realizing that the power of Jesus Christ lives in me. And I don't have to have the answer to every question. I don't have to um, solve every one of my family members' problems. Christ Got it. I take it to God and the Christ that lives in me, if need be, will say, hey, I'm going to need you to say this. Or I'm going to need you to do this. Or I just need you to hug that person or love that person. Yeah, they need to know that, but not in the way you want to tell them. So back up and let me handle it. Yeah, I know you see that. And I know it's wrong. But I know it's wrong. So I'm going to handle it. The Christ in me will handle things. And so then you don't get as angry. When you realize the power that is really in you. You don't. Feel forced to, to to create vengeance and you can let all that pride go. Be like, yeah, I got Christ in me. 
He forgave me so I could forgive you. He comforts me so I can comfort you. He healed me so I could be a testimony to you. And we just can't remember that. We still feel the, the desire to, to speak out of pride, to let people know I'm smart or let people know I you can't get over on me or let people know, you know, oh, I, you know, I got this and I got that and my bank account and this and that and look at my clothes and look at... But when you realize just what's important, it's really important. And who lives in you? You can just love people where they are. You can love yourself where you are. And you won't need all those material objects. You won't have your eye on jealousy because that person has this or that, has been successful with this or that. Successful on this earth is meaningless because you can't take none of this with you. If I was gonna leave a legacy, it ain't be I don't want people to be like, oh, she had a lot of money. I want them to say, I never did leave her presence the same. I always left better than when I came. Because Jesus lives in me. I love you. God loves you. Have a blessed and wonderful day.